Okay, thank you. So, I was working as sales manager in Continental IT Tires for five years. And today I would like to share with you our story about test automatization, but at first I would, I would like to do some short introduction about our product, what we are testing, and also about our organization. So we are testing manufacturing execution system, shortly MES. This system helps to us monitor and control various aspects of the production. And also these systems can communicate with the another system in manufacturing companies. At one on the one side, this system can communicate with the system focusing on enterprise resource planning on or customer relationship management. But on the second side, what what is also more interesting for me is communication with real physical machine. This communication can be running via some mediators. These mediators can be some PLC programs, SCADA tools, or humans. You can imagine the situation that sometimes we need also the humans, some working position on the shop floor as operators, setters, or quality controller. For cases as the our machine is running into the dine town, there is no production and operator has to select the type of the dine town. Or the another case that we need to load some material for the consumption into the machine and operator will need scan with hand scanner the barcode on the pallet and MES system will evaluate the quality of this pallet if this pallet is okay or not okay for this specific type of the production. But what's about MES system in Continental IT tires. So we don't have only one system, we have many systems. We have maybe about 20, 30 different MES system. And this MES system we can split into, into a few categories. We have some MES system, we have some system for planning, for quality, and also we have some tools for reporting and analytics. So, and all these all these applications, all these systems, we are calling as manufacturing seed. This manufacturing seed is our product, what we are providing for our customers, for our business, to for our 20 plants. And together, this manufacturing seed includes maybe 200 different services and applications, because each of these systems includes a few small services and applications. And during Testing of all these services, sometimes we are facing some challenges. So the first biggest challenge, what we have is complexity of the test data. Why? Because for us it's highly, sim uh, highly challenging to simulate the entire, entire production process. Because there is too many dependencies across multiple systems. For example, if we want start production process. For this simple case, we will need some receipt from the one system, from the receipt management system. We will need order from SAP system. And after that, these systems are combining together in our MES system and tester can, can try to start production. But if there is any parameter is missing, if this in an object as receipt or order, the production is not possible to start it. And tester must solve the first issue. And probably he will need to cooperate with the another tester from the another application. And it's not too easy to solve it for us. The next challenge what we have is the high load. Why? Because in our production, our system is running 24 hours per seven day in weeks without any runtime. And during this, pro uh, during this time, our system are processing hundreds of different param parameters from hundreds of ma machine every minute. And for us, it's also highly challenging to achieve this traffic in our test center because we don't have real physical machine in our test center. So we can create some simulator, but it needs we need some time for that, configure the simulator or create some shadow system where we will resend some data from production. And next challenge what we have is about our big technology stack. Because as I show on the previous slide that we don't have only one technology for all application, we have many technologies for the front end. We have some web application based on the Angular, React, 
laser as pendot net whatever we have also some desktop application based on the wind farms or uh, some sap technologies or delphi or also whatever we have mobile application also our applications are and services are hosted on the different servers uh, different operating system that we have some applications are running on the windows server some other applications are running uh, on linux and newer applications and services are running inside the kubernetes on or docker and the latest point is about where the applications are installed because some of these applications are installed centrally on the at one place but and from this point the application can communicate to to the to each plant worldwide but the another application are installed locally in the inside the each plant so it was about our product about our application and now about our organization so our organization includes about 200 different people worldwide these people are located in them into multiple location right right now we have seven different it hubs and we have these it hubs uh, some it hubs are located in america regions we have also some it hubs in europe and also in asia we are supporting some strategy follow the sun and what is what is also important that right now our organization is supporting the strategy follow the sun but we are also transforming to the safe to the scale agile framework into the scale agile framework we have 15 different application teams and this each application teams include some standard roles i think you know these roles from your agile teams we have some application developers testers scrum master and so on but on this second side we have also one system team we are calling this system team as backbone team and this backbone team are supporting some activities for the application teams we are helping them with the this automatization that we are creating some automated test framework for them and which can be used for the for this automatization in this application we are also we can also support for them supporting creation of the test strategies or test plans and the next responsibility what we has is providing and supporting ci cd pipeline for this application as a next step this or next responsibility of this backbone team is that our backbone developers are creating one standard interface and via this interface all application what we have can communicate together so that was about our organization briefly and now about our automatization so when i came into the continental that was the time about six years ago so there was no automated test framework at that time so i decided to create the first test first test framework based on some open source technologies because for this try i selected the one emea system which were in development phase at that time so i selected the selenium and vinium because this product includes two, ma two main clients one client was based on the web technology and the second client was ba based on the on beam forms so during some months i created this framework also i created some examples of the automated tests and i start train and coach the people from the application team how to use it this framework but after some months i started to have the feeling that i'm failing why because i f i see after some years that at that time the te testers were focused very well on the manual testing on the designing the test cases but there was the gap with the test execution uh, with the test automatization with the scripting and uh, and programming and also we needed a lot of different technologies for the another application as i show on the beginning so definitely we needed some another framework for delphi or for sap and i think nobody has capacity to keep or maintain all this on this test framework 
at that time. So what we did as a next step. So together with the management, we established new project focus on automated testing where we define two main objective. The first objective was that we will find the new platform for test automatization. And the second was about creation of new automated tests in this platform in this platform. So, we established this project and uh, I was nominated as project manager for this project and project members were test managers from the application teams. So, what we did on the beginning of this project. So, we put some expectation from new platform. So, we wanted that new platform should support all our existing, all technologies from our technology stack. Then next expectation were based on the vision that also non IT people can create some automated tests, maybe people from business, because they have the deepest, deepest knowledge of these processes on the shop floor. So for us, it means that the test script must be understable for people with limited programming or programming or scripting knowledge. Also, there should be simple management or automatic management of the XPath. And, and the next expectation were focused more technical. That means that we wanted to have this new solution must support the versioning. Because everyone wants to track the changes in your solution. I think it makes sense also for programming, also for testing. The next expectation was about the also technical that uh, we want to avoid the duplication in the solution as much as possible. So we want to create some reusable test script which we can share across the multiple test scenario, not to record all or create, develop each, each part of the test case multiple, multi multiple times. And next three visions or Next three points are about my vision that one day I had the idea that we will able to integrate this test into the, our continuous integration pipeline. So we wanted for this test that test must be possible to start inside the virtual machine. Also for desktop application, that's sometimes this part is very challenging. Also, there must be possible to start this test remotely. We have some API core or command prompt or something like that, or another API. And also we wanted to have the standard output files with the test results from this tool. Because with this point, we will have the option or we should have the option to send the test results somewhere else and mix, it, mix them together with the data from manual testing and create one simple or one test report with visualization all with visualization with all test data what we have from the testing. I believe that this point is important because it's helped helping to team to make transparency for the management or for the business what was the tested because it doesn't matter if you are testing automated or manually because you need to show that something was tested. So, after some months, I think we search, uh, we found a few tools on the market which fulfill almost all these expectations. And we selected one of them. I think all these platforms were called as load code at, this at that time. And we, ne we already had the platform, but we had no automated tests at that time. So at first, before the creation, the first automated test, we needed create some guideline, how we will create the automated test. Because if there would be the freedom, there would be, if each tester can create e his own structure in this solution, I think there will be, there would be very big chaos in this solution and the future maintenance of this solution would be really terrible. So we wanted to have one solution for each system 
because almost for in each case is the tester has knowledge ab only about one application, one system. So it doesn't make sense to mix multiple systems together. After that, we also wanted to create inside the solution some libraries with, uh, with the test modules. Create these test modules simple. So we define the separate project for each part of the application what we have. That means we will have one project per web, web application, one project with desktop application. And as a last step, we define that we will have the separate project only for test or test scenarios when we will create the complex test scenarios and we will mix all modules or test modules from these two projects together. And also what is missing, it was the structure of the of these files with the test libraries. So you can see it here. So our approach was that we will create this structure according to layout of main menu in our application. So you can see it here that we have some item as menu one, menu two, user management, users or user loads. And after that, we have the same structure with the folders here. And the last thing, what was missing was the naming convention for the modules for this, with this test action. So we decided to use also some specific naming convention for better filtering and searching these modules for the tester. Because only with this approach, we can avoid the duplication in our test scenarios and, and keep, it, keep it quite simple. So, and now some example of the test scenarios, how it is for test modules. So you can see that we are trying to create the test modules quite simple. That's it's including only a few test steps. In ide ideal case, it's only one test step. But you can see that in this load code platform, this test module is also understable for people without big IT knowledge because there is no naming where the test is clicking or what is typing. So you can see here in these three steps that something will put into the login name, into the password. Yeah, sorry. So you can see it here that we have some login name, password, submit. Uh, the same structure is here inside the application, login name, password, and login. What is great for us that this XPath of, th of this element is captured automatically and also there is the feature if any other tester will create another test module and will capture the same element again from some reason, this element, this XPath will not duplicate it that because this library with all XPath is shared between all, all other test modules in, in one project. And now I can show the example of the test scenarios, what we have. So you can see it here, that we are trying to avoid the duplication as much as possible, that you can see that we have two scenario. One is for adding new user into the system, and the second example is for changing the user password. And you can see that a lot of modules are the same in both, and there are only some differences for doing some specific event inside the application, in this case for changing the password. So that's the biggest benefit, one of the big, uh, biggest benefit what we have during our creation of automated test. And what's about the next benefit from this solution? So we have the same we have the same technology and the and uh, test automatization process now for all application what we have. For us, for Backbone team, it's very easy to create new empty solution for new application, try to create the structure with the project, create some test example there, and after that, during one, one, one or two days, we can start with the coaching and training the people from the application teams. 
as next benefit is about also the integration of the people because this solution is quite quite simple and also good for people with limited scripting knowledge so for us there, there are some possibilities for integration the integration or hiring the students for IT newcomer students for only specific part of the year you can imagine some summertime for part-time job or something like that that these guys can help to help to us quite quickly and after one after two three weeks they are able to create new automated tests for us and also we are supporting the the teams with increasing the transparency that we are providing the same dashboard for with the results of automated tests because as I said that we are exporting these results sending somewhere else and creating quite nice visualization in Power BI after that and these visualizations are the same for each application so management can see the data for each application what was tested about the results some weekly trend and so on and the last point what I would like to mention is about that we have also now the opportunity to develop some test pipelines what does it mean for us that uh, as I said on the beginning that there is very big compa po complexity in the test data so with this approach we can start the first test inside the pipeline for creation some receipt in the receipt management system we can create after that if this test is okay we are able to start the another test inside the pipeline and it will create the order if this order is created this is also evaluated as successfully passed we can start the test for starting the production in MES system so with this approach we are able to test quite quickly critical business processes across multiple systems what is very important for us and but now it's not only about benefit but also about some concerns from this solution so the first concern that there is the strong dependency of the use platform because for a local platform there is no standard how you can import or export the test into some unified standard files and after afterwards import these files to the new tools if you will find the better tool on the market but I think the same problem is also if you are using the open source platform if you will decide it to export your solution from one programming language to the another programming language it will be the same the next concern what a lot of people have is about the cost because load code platform usually that's our commercial solution it's not definitely it's not for free and the on the second side there are open source framework which are for free but I think that this open source framework it normally requires more experienced people which will require higher salary so if you will compare after that total cost for the automatization in some cases load code platforms the price can be or cost can be the same or also the cost can be cheaper for load code platform and the last concern what I have is about quality and speed of the support because if you are using again some open source framework there is very huge community very big community of the people you will find some problem and what you will do you will search this issue on the internet and I think during a few seconds a few s a few minutes you will find the answer on the on the stack overflow or in the in the some another track uh, thread in the in the internet so and if you are using the load load code platform usually the community is much smaller there is not too many threads in the in the internet so you will need raise the ticket for the application team and you will wait it can it can take a few hours a few days and probably they will answer it that it's defect in the application and you have to wait for the hotfix so I think this third concern is the biggest for me pers personally and now I would say some short wrap up so this local platform is is not for 
each project, but if you are using very complex system, very complex environment as we have, and you are still fighting with the test automatization, I think you can try it. You can try to install some trial version of any of these tool, and maybe you will surprise how it is easy. So I think that was all. And now you can do ha you have space to ask some question. Could you go back to the slide when you have the names of the tools because I didn't manage to catch them? There is the not a name of this tool because I I don't want to be specific what we are using uh -huh. because it's commercial platform. But uh, okay. in this example, what I was failing, it was with Selenium and Vinium. That uh. was the time six years ago because, yeah, I, because I had quite a lot experience with the Okay. Selenium at that time, positive experience and so on. We can speak about that later. Okay, any other questions? Here's the question, uh, how stable are your tests? Do you, are you ha having some problems with the stability? Uh, of course, we have. As as everybody, I would say, <laughs> but it's depend on the development. Some application for some application is um, is very stable, but for some another, it's not so stable. It's depend on the development phase how many percent of your application is changed. So there is no connection to the local platform, for example, with the stability. I I, I don't think so. It's always depend. The benefit is that you can you are able to cover multiple different technologies with one solution. Thank you. Uh, as usual, there's the problem with the stability and also the maintenance. Uh, do you have any like big issues with uh, with maintenance? It, it's low code, so like people can clearly see what's happening, but uh, with changes to the environment, does it, uh, like how does it affect you? And if, if it's I've like, high cost on the on the maintenance or not? I think in our environment, it's always depending on the test data. If we are refreshing data, test data in our application, sometimes we are having a lot of problems because we have to rec re uh, reconfigure all these tests. The data inside the test normally are not hard coded. All tests are parameterized, but you need to define the new test data, new parameter, and that's very complicated for us. Hello, uh, sorry to close the microphone. Well, uh, I wanted to ask, uh, so what's the like main point of the presentation? Because the um, low code solutions are here for like eight to 10 years. I expect that a lot of us tried it. I tried Ranorex tool some six years ago and pretty much this was the conclusion you know, you reached, so um, is there, I, I don't really know, like I couldn't, um, you know, find the main benefit or it probably didn't reach me the point of the presentation. So what's, uh, what's the main info you want to share with us? Uh, yeah, thank you. I wanted to share with you, for share with you that, um, um, these technologies can help to help to you if you uh, your environment is very big. It's covering a lot of it's covering a lot of technologies, and um, uh, for this uh, maintenance of uh, this generic solution, you don't need only you don't need the specific solution for each platform because you have only one tool. And I think it's uh, something between or some other way, if you are created some tests in the Selenium or the in a another s platform, you scripting something, we are low code platform, low code platform, you can accelerate it, this development of new automated test, and it's some, and maybe the next step, there will be the autonomous system or, or AI. But I think you will need still 
put some logic into the into your test and for us also i can't imagine now the the some some tests with ai or something like that because there is very big there is a lot of logic because across the multi switch system and still i believe that lotus platforms are best for us for next a few years what we have is it okay for you yeah <laughs> we can speak later thank you yaromir for your presentation i have two questions for you the first I really didn't get the point why it failed for the first time because your result is that you are using best practice, page object pattern, don't repeat yourself, all of this stuff, which should be clear even for the first time, but as you said, it wasn't. So I wanted to ask you what actually really changed bit before these two uh, tries. And my second question is, do you use some uh, sample data model if you have such complication uh, with uh, data? Because from my experience, I work on similar product as yours and we spent almost one year implemented this uh, data model for us. And then it was just used for next 10 years. So yeah, these are my two questions, thank you. We have, uh, or we had some basic data model but now we decided that we wanted to test the data from the multiple plants. So we decided right now that we will rotate the data from the multiple times. So now we are working on that, how we can improve this situation. And to the first question, uh, there was a really, I think, problem that uh, for testers it was, was quite irritating and that uh, they had to open the Visual Studio and something scripting and so on. So they all people from test automatization expected that it will it will be more easy for them. They, they will they will have no no passion for that I would say, <laughs> for for this approach with the also with the object patterns and so on. Because always you will need to know the specific specific commands with what you can use in your test solution and this load code platforms it will offer for you if you can use some key sequence or click or something and in this if you are using the scripted solution you will know this Um, sorry, so basically if I understand it correctly, the, the biggest pain that you had was uh, having enough qualified people that would be able to work with the mul multitude of the different systems or like the learning curve was quite steep. So the reason why you're talking about this is, is because you needed to bridge the gap between the qualification of the people and the need to, to create these test suites and have some kind of I don't know, uh, ability to scale the, yeah. the, the, the whole automation system in w with, with like regards to what is available on the market. We, ne we, need it, uh, we need it in parallel, the train and coach the people and accelerate our test automatization process because all people were expected that almost all will be automa automated in quite short time. Uh, as a colleague of, of Eramir, I, uh, I would like to share that uh, for me the biggest benefit of uh, using local platform was actually that we enabled a lot of people which didn't have the skills before uh, to start with the, with the testing and really contribute in a very easy way because in that tool you can really like record very easily the test and then parameterize it and this uh, in the beginning was really big hype in the team uh, that people found it, okay, it's easy. If I need to do it once manually, it's basically the same effort for me to record it and then parameterize and then can be always checked automatically. Exactly. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.